Hello, and welcome to this month's edition of the InDesign newsletter, where I teach you tips and tricks for general things you want to know about InDesign. Who am I? I am Andrea Baslassen. I'm an Adobe community expert. I'm also a graphic and web design college instructor. So now that you know who I am, let's get started. All right, today I want to talk to you about two things. I want to talk to you about how to know what layer you're on, and I want to talk to you about the content wrapper. All right, so we talked about this in a previous video, um, but that, I think that was a year ago, so I want to bring this back up as well because I think it's pretty important. So I'm in my layers panel, and I have two objects here, but there are two objects on two separate layers. So InDesign does a really, really good job of letting you know which layer you're on. So we have our image here that is red. It's showing a red outline and a big red box. And if we look at our layers panel, we see that it is highlighted in red and there is a red box over here. So that tells us we're on layer two. If I click on this other layer here, layer one, you'll see that it is highlighted with outline with a blue box a blue box here and a blue box in the, um, sorry, and a blue rectangle and a blue square, letting us know that um, we're on that layer, all right? So I'm going to, so that's how you know which layer you're on. See, as I click back and forth, it is showing me that we are on the different layers. I'm gonna go ahead and hide layer two just for a second because we're not really gonna need this. So the next thing that I want to talk to you about is the content grabber. So also in a previous video, I talked about how InDesign does a picture in a frame. That's how it does its objects and the image inside of it. So you can see the frame, which is blue and it's outlined. That is the frame of this. But inside of here, I actually have a clock over here somewhere. Shockingly, right? So Typically, to be able to see that, we would hover over this content grabber. The content grabber is this circle or disk um, that's in the center when you uh, have an image inside of a frame. And a lot of people, it annoys and they want to get rid of it. But I'm telling you, it is your friend. It's an awesome uh, feature. So what we usually do is we'll click on the content grabber it's going to give us another color. Now, you know, I told you that the colors were are going to show you when you're on a layer. But in this case, we're on the picture inside of the frame, which is this rust color. So it's not the layer, but it also tells you whether you're on the layer or sorry, whether you're on the frame versus being in the image. So see how we have this rust color right here? That is the picture inside of the frame. And typically you would just move this over and notice we see a clock, right? That's how we get to the clock. But notice when we were moving it over, we can't actually see our image and we wanna be able to see the image and what's going on in this um, picture as we move it so that we can move it in the right place instead of aimlessly moving it. So all we have to do is click down on the mouse and hold. I didn't do anything else. I just clicked on the mouse and I held it. And then you will see that image. So now we can move it and place it exactly where we want it to go without having to guess where this image is going to go. Okay, so now I've done that. I have my image in place. I am happy, right? So if I go to move this, notice it moves this blank box, right? It's not moving... Um, it's not, I'm not being able to see my image as I move. So if I move this down here, then I get it there and I can move it. But if you want to be able to see your image at the same time, it's that same concept, right? So if you click on the mouse and hold it, then as you move it, notice I'm not just moving an empty frame anymore. I'm actually moving the image and I'm sorry, I'm actually able to see the image as I move this around on the screen. Okay. So that pretty much is what I wanted to go over with you guys. I wanted to talk to you about the layers and how you know which layer you're on. I want to talk to you about the content grabber and how to view what you're moving as, as you're working in that content grabber. And that's pretty much it for this month's edition of our InDesign newsletter.
All right. So I hope you enjoyed this month's session of the InDesign newsletter. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. By doing this, this helps our algorithm. It helps let YouTube know that you like the content and they'll play more. Yay. All right. Um, also, there's my contact information. If you'd like to contact me, um, if you didn't see something that you would like to see or you want to see in a, um, you know, revisit something or learn something um, in InDesign, please comment that. And I would definitely make sure uh, that I record that for you in a future episode. All right. All right. So again, thanks for watching. Until next month. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.